I'm Kara Morgan. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Coffee with Kara, sponsored by The Human Being in Newport and Lincoln City. I'm excited to be here at the 60 Plus Center with my two good friends, Jeanette Campagna and Sonia Graham. And we are excited to be bringing you more information about the Coast Busters. It's hard to believe, ladies, that it's already been a year. Yes, I know. <laughs> um, when Jeanette contacted me and said, are you guys doing Coast Busters? I'm like, we just did that. Wait a minute. <laughs> So for those who may not know, can you guys introduce yourselves and tell a little bit about what you do? Sure, so I'll start. <laughs> so she's looking at me. I'm Sonia Graham. Um, my day job is I'm the supervisor of the Newport 60 Plus Activity Center, and I'm also co-founder co along with Jeanette for Coastbusters. And I'm Jeanette Campagna, and my day job is the Director of Advancement at Oregon Coast Community College. And as Sonia mentioned, I'm the other half of the <laughs> co-founders of the Coastbusters. So let's talk a little bit about what Coastbusters is and what led you to found such an amazing, growing event. Jeanette? Coastbusters started um, after Sonia and I are, are recent breast cancer survivors and were diagnosed only a couple months apart from each other. And after we went through our recovery process, we decided that we really wanted to give back to the community. And uh, just because, you know, this was during COVID when we were going through our treatments and um, it was a very isolating experience. And we just wanted to do something, as I often say, positive that we could give, to, you know, to give back. And so it started out with Sonia suggesting a three day walk. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, this is enough. <laughs> uh, so we started the, the first Coastbusters was in 2021 in Newport, and that first year we raised over $14,000, and it was real important to us that the money stay local, as in Lincoln County local for um, breast cancer patients, and um, so as I like to tell people, um, I, we really thought this was going to be a one and done, everyone feels good about it, <laughs> yay, look at us. And then we had people come up to us after the event say, hey, we want to be on the committee next year. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is going to be a thing. <laughs> so it is now a thing. And we had year two, and we raised over $30,000. So past two years is over $45,000. and. So that really inspired us to, um, for, we have filed for our own 501c3 and we've expanded this year. So we have Coastbusters in Newport on uh, September 30th and in Florence, new for the very first time on October 7th. And Sonia, uh, so if you follow suit 14,000 the first year, <laughs> 30,000 the second year, is the goal 60,000 this year? You know, if, if, if you thought mathematically it would have been, but we decided that we'd rather far exceed our goal, so we made it 50,000. But, um, but For both events combined. For both oh, events okay. combined, yeah. So I think, I think we should have a good chance at it. So tell us about the event, Sonia, and what it entails. What do you do? So we, the original Coastbusters was just a, just a walk, a three mile walk, which was 12 times around the, the track. It's been at the Newport High School in Newport, and we'll continue there. Um, in Florence, it's gonna be at the Sayusla Middle School, and um, again, 12 times around the track. Um, but now we've added all kinds of other events. So, so um, last year we had an after party, and this year we will have an after party after both events at the, um, at the Rogue uh, Bayfront Public House in Newport uh, from 1230 to 3 on the 30th, and then in Florence at the Florence Elks Club, um, again 1230 to 3 uh, on October 7th. Additional events have been added as well. So, um, we can talk about those in a minute. Let me talk about how you actually, what the process of walking. I think yeah, that, now, yeah. now I think about it, it's actually what you're asking me. So somebody says, hey, this is a great event. I want to come out and I want to support local breast cancer patients. They can go online. We have a great website, uh, coastbusterswalk.org. 
and you can uh, you learn about a little bit more about Coastbusters there. You can click register and register, sign up for the walk. It's only $35 through September 23rd um, to, to walk. Again, all of those funds are going to, uh, to breast cancer patients locally. You can walk, sign up for one or both, both cities um, and either one of those. Then once you do that, that's all you have to do. You're all set to go, just show up on the day of the walk. Uh, registration starts at 9 a.m. both towns. Um, walk kicks off at 10 a.m. with a uh, lap by the, any of survivors who want to walk that survivor's lap. And the rest of the people are cheering them on. And then when they finish, the survivors finish the first lap, then the rest of the people join in. We it's do. It's so awesome. I got it. Is, <laughs> it is just kind of fun. It is incredible. Yeah. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Um, <laughs> we also encourage the people who, who walk to raise additional funds. Again, it's all, it's all going to a good cause. You don't have to. If you're not comfortable with it, you know, it's okay. You're welcome to join us anyway. But we do encourage people to try to raise at least $150. If they raise $150 um, in additional funds, then they will be placed on our wall of honor, which is, you know, huge to do. Um, you know, it's very important. And, you know, again, all of, it's all for a good cause. And we just try to have fun. We also have a ton of prizes this year. Um, we've always given away prizes for for all kinds of things. Well, of course, contest. the top three, yeah, contest, different kinds of contests, a costume contest, who came from the furthest. Um, we also do the top three fundraisers, which we will do again this year. Um, we will have just a um, a raffle prize that is uh, that you enter the drawing by um, visiting all of the vendors that have tables at the walk and getting a stamp. Then you'll be entered to win that door prize. And then we're also going to have um, additional raffle tickets that are sold for multiple gift baskets and gift certificates and things like that so people can choose what prize that they want to enter uh, the raffle tickets, the raffle tickets into that prize. Yeah. So um, this is one of our wonderful uh, prizes for our prize drawing. Uh, this will be at the Newport event. And this was made specifically for the Coastbusters event, thus all the lovely pink and the pink buoy. And this is made by Rebecca Hooper with um, Gypsy Weaver. And this is all made out of recycled crab pot rope. And she just does a phenomenal job. She's getting quite a name for herself. Yeah, and this is one of hers also, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you have, Sonia? I have a beautiful crab rope basket Number 25, Don Treeter. It has a boat name on there too. Oh, that's yeah, great. Yeah. yeah. I think there's somewhere too. But yeah, here it is. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's a tag. Anyway, you know, these are these are great. Uh, wonderful, wonderful um, uh, gifts from Gypsy Weaver. And, and these are things you can bid on, is that right? So or these will be, people will be able to buy tickets for the prize drawing and if um, we'll have like little baskets in front of the items and they can put their ticket in whatever they want hope to win what are some of the other things that will be available oh my gosh we have um gift cards we have a georgie's gift certificate we have a pacific kitchen gift certificate we have willamette valley cancer institute is doing um, a beavers package and a ducks package for both events mm. Ooh, mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> and I uh, know we got a, a lymphatic massage gift certificate, um, just a, a whole bunch of gift cards, I believe, and a few other bis gift baskets. I know from the um, Three River Rivers Casino for the Florence event, we have two gift baskets, mm -hmm. each are valued at $200 each. They've got like an overnight stay, a bottle of wine. Um, I can't remember what else was in it, but they're, I've got them both. They're, they're really beautiful baskets. And lots of theme baskets. So there's yeah. a pink theme basket and a picnic basket and a snacks basket. So lots of items for people to drop their tickets in and hope to win. That sounds like so much fun. And it really is. Um, I've been along this incredible journey Since with the these beginning. guys from yep. the beginning. <laughs> yep. So this is year three for me too. And um, and let me tell you, 12 laps around 
it's easy. It's a piece it, of cake. It's cake. It's flat. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's music playing yeah. to kind of give you that energy. Are we doing the warm ups again this mm -hmm. year? Yes. Great. Both of them, um, Rebecca Sindhuber will be doing that again from um, Passion Flower Fitness um, in Newport. And then Coastal Fitness is doing a, a Zumba warm up in Florence. Yay. So, you know, they get you going. And it's so much fun. Is there going to be a football game going on? <laughs> no, I just talked to I just talked to uh, to President to Principal Manson just today. She assured me there's nothing else happening. There's no homecoming game the night before. There's no football game that day. So it's just going to be Coastbusters taking over the field. <laughs> there, it was a, a nice family affair. There was lots of folks there. And, and maybe learn a little bit about Coastbusters by, you know, having them there. Um, so I think it was Pee Wee football or something last year that <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, was a it was a multiple use area at the track last year. <laughs> yes, it was. Well, and this year the, they have the brand new bleachers. Oh, yes. With the brand new sound system, and we will be able to use that sound system. Um, so we're just finding Yay, I'm very happy sound. about that. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully you'll be able to hear that music blasting all around the track and everything. And, and the costumes, some of the stuff oh, that people amazing. come up with, it's just incredible. Does it have to be a pink theme? It can be anything, but At how the first that? year we had um, the uh, Stormtrooper. Yeah. A, a yeah, yeah. And the Care Bears. The Care Bears. Those were great. <laughs> That's right. I couldn't imagine walking around the Newport track 12 times <laughs> in a big old Care Bear outfit. Well, that's um, really the inflatables. Oh, the, yeah. The yep. flamingos. The flamingos. And the um, uh, her sister sisters in the uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg costumes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes, we did. <laughs> On the hottest day of the year. <laughs> <laughs> so People do get really uh, very, very creative. Lots of two, pink tutus. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's very popular. Well, we do recommend pink. Yeah. We, like, we like pink. I think and we're going to be the dressed in pink. black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to be the pink ladies this year. Oh. oh. So nobody steal my idea. Like <laughs> pink Tuscadero yeah. pink ladies. Yeah. Me too. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll see about doing That's something like idea. that. So it'll be lots of <laughs> lots of fun. <laughs> cool. So uh, leading up to the event, you've got some fun things going on, and let's talk about um, Jeanette. What made you choose to have a second event in Florence? Well, um, my husband and I bought a house three years ago. Part of our mission with Coastbusters is that we would like to see this event go up and down the coast. And so this year was the, we decided to expand and since I live in Florence, and there's actually a, a couple other committee members that live in Florence, mm -hmm. and so we decided that would be a good spot to, to try it out. And I have to say the community has just completely rallied around this event and are being so supportive of you know, for, especially for the very first time that we're doing it there. So, yes, that's how Florence was chosen. And this is the third year Newport, but first year Florence, right? Correct. And let's talk about some of the events that you have going on. Um, is there going to be? You said that there's going to be an after party, but there's some beforehand events, right? There is. So next Saturday, September 16th, we're having an event called Brava. And that will be held at the uh, um, Florence Area uh, Arts Alliance. And there will be bra decorating. So I think it's from noon to four. It's $5. All the supplies are there. The bras are there. There will be <laughs> artists on hand to help you, get, you know, come up with your creative juices for decorating the bras. And then the bras will stay on display at the bra during the month of October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and then on November 4th, there's an auction that we're also at the gallery that the, uh, the bras will be auctioned off. So that will be very fun. And then the next weekend, September 23rd, ready for this one? It's called Toast the Tatas. <laughs> it will be held at 
the Laughing Crab Gallery, and cool. it's a, a sip and art auction, and so all those monies will go towards uh, Toastbusters. And then on October 1st at Three Rivers Casino, there will be a poker tournament, mm -hmm. and half the proceeds from that will, so the players get half and the other half uh, the casino is donating towards uh, Toastbusters. Oh. So we have a similar event happening in um, Newport too. Uh, similar to the Bravo. Yeah. We have, uh, and I'm, I'm still in the name Bravo. I hope that's okay. <laughs> um, it is now. <laughs> okay. But it's going to be on September 23rd. And from 11 to 3, we're, we'll have a table uh, for the bra decorating at the, at the Newport Rec Center. This is in conjunction with the Super Queer Fun Fair um, that will also be held from 11 to 3. Um, with by Newport Pride at the Newport Rec Center. And um, so we'll be de decorating the bras um, from 11 to 3, and then they will be hung at the um, Visual Arts Center through the month of October. I have to get with Jeanette, and we'll schedule a date for the auction, but uh, we'll be holding the auction also at the Visual Arts Center and a date that works for, for everybody. And, and we'll keep everybody signs. posted. Yeah, 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 thank you for that. Um, yeah, so that's that's our pre-event, and then we have a post-event in scheduled in Newport, and that's at Beechcrest Brewing up in the Salishan Marketplace, awesome place, and um, super great people, Amy and Matt White, that own the, that own Beechcrest Brewing. From four to seven p.m. on October twelfth, <coughs> they will donate fifty percent of all proceeds. So. Come hungry. Last year we ran out of pizza. <laughs> we did. And it was packed. It was absolutely Standing packed. Room it was only. so much so fun. So come hungry and come early. Come yeah. hungry, come <laughs> early. Um, and it's from four yeah, to from seven. four to close. Actually, I don't oh. know where where seven o'clock came from, but I I've been I've, <laughs> I've used seven, but it's from four to close. Um, and then um, they also you can buy merchandise. So you know all of your all of your Beechcrest swag. Buy it, buy it that night, and we'll get 50% of all proceeds. That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, and let's talk a little bit about, Jeanette, where the money raised is going to go in both locations. So in Newport, the funds um, that will assist breast cancer patients is through um, Samaritan Pacific Communities Health District Foundation, uh, through their Women's Cancer Fund. And then in uh, Florence, it um, will go through um, Oregon Cancer Foundation. And they are, although they're located in Eugene, they service only Lane County, so we, we are able to restrict those funds um, for local breast cancer patients in the Florence and surrounding area. And can you talk a little bit about um, the importance of having those resources available as you're going through something like breast cancer treatment? So I'll go ahead and, and, and take that. Um, there, when you are diagnosed with something like breast cancer, um, there's a whole lot of expenses that come up along with it, from driving to the to the doctor doctor's offices to um, you know all of your copays or deductibles. But you still have to pay for all of your normal living expenses too, and you might not be able to work at that time either. Um, both of us were able to to hold on to our, our jobs while we were going through treatment, and so that was we were fortunate there. Um, but it's still it's very expensive. It's it's not cheap to be sick in America, and we wanted to be able to help people that were going through this experience because if we can help them financially, we can help them get the treatment that they need. We can hopefully help them beat the cancer, and eventually, that's our ultimate goal is to continue doing this until there's no such thing as, as breast cancer and, and nobody needs to fight it anymore. Um, Jeanette, can you talk about how that helps to alleviate some of that stress that you go through when you have that diagnosis and how these funds will help your, not only you, but help your family as well? Yeah, you know, um, Sonia mentioned, so now you have all the medical costs on top of your everyday your everyday bills, and I'm, I'm I'm not exaggerating. There are bills like this, and to navigate through that, first of all, is challenging <laughs> in and of itself. And 
um, and having to work with the providers to be able to offer you payment plans and whatnot. So having this available through both organizations, um, there are what, gas cards, they'll help pay uh, utilities, um, perhaps assist with rent, um, so um, that they don't pay medical costs but they help with all those other... They free up the right. money elsewhere so you can put right. that towards the medical yeah. And they help you get to the doctor's appointment. They right. just won't pay for the doctor's appointment. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. And so this is really also a celebration of survivorship as well, right? Yes. Can you guys explain that a little bit and talk a little bit about the importance of that? Well, we're all survivors. Um, as from the day we're diagnosed. From the day you're diagnosed, you're a survivor. And I think it's important for us to focus on those that, that, that thrive and, and provide hopefully that strength and hope to every person who's experiencing um, a diagnosis because it is devastating. Even though, even though many people, we are survivors, um, are able to continue living um, through, the, through the treatment and, and for years after, um, it's still, it's devastating when you get that diagnosis. And you need to, I think it's important to have that hope and to be able to celebrate those who give you that inspiration. Look, I can be, I can be just like her and, and you know, live a healthy, healthy life forever. Well, and I wanna point out that you also invite survivors. They don't have to sign up. They don't have to raise money. They don't have to right. do anything. They can just show up and walk that first lap, right? They're, yes, all survivors, they don't have to be registered to walk that first lap. All right. Um, anything else that you lovely ladies would like to add as we're wrapping up? I do. I would like to acknowledge our presenting sponsor, yes. which is Next Home Picket Fence Realty and uh, Lila Timmons, Lila and Eric Timmons, and they go above and beyond to support this event. Her um, Eric is a woodworker craftsman and he makes the wooden uh, medallions that are the lap counters and um, th they do amazing. yeah they're just amazing they have made plaques for us and yes. they have made special you know, wooden boxes that have special sayings and um, so I wanted to acknowledge them. Where can folks go if they want to sign up or give some more information? Coastbusterswalk.org. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you both so much for coming and sharing with us today on Coffee with Kira. Again, we are sponsored by The Human Being in Newport at 6th Street and Highway 101 and in Lincoln City at the north end of the highway on the west side next to TLC Credit Union. For Oregon Coast Breaking News, I'm Kira Morgan. And of course, if you like this video, we encourage you to like and subscribe and ring the little bell so you can keep getting notifications when we do these wonderful videos of the community.